In this ukulele tutorial, we're gonna do the A diminished seven chord. Check this out. All right, so I'll show you that little slidey thing that I just did, but the diminished seven chord is a unique chord because it has a flat third, a flat five, and a double flat seven. And that's, of course, relating to the major scale, so the A major scale. But we'll get to that in a second as well. First, let's just go over the chord shape. So A diminished seven. So what I'm doing here is my first finger is on the fourth string, second fret, and then my second finger is on the second string, second fret. Then my third finger is on the third string, third fret, with my pinky on the first string, third fret. So A diminished seven. Has a little bit of suspense to the sound, which is kind of cool. So as I mentioned, we relate everything to the A major scale. So if I play the A major scale, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. So remember the chords are made up of the first degree, the third degree, and the fifth degree of the scale. That's a triad, but because this is a diminished seven, we're gonna also add the seventh degree. So normally, what are those notes? You have A, C sharp, that's a third, E is a fifth, and G sharp is a seventh. Okay, that's just your, that's major though. What we want is diminished seven. So, as I said earlier, the diminished has a one, so A, that's the same note, A, but then flat three, so we're gonna take this C sharp and flat it to C, right? Because flat just means move the note one fret lower towards the nut, and we're on the first fret here for C sharp, so we make it open, and notice in this case, C. So A and C are two notes. Then we take our fifth of the scale, which is E, and we got to flat that too because the diminished has a flat five. So we take E and we do E flat. So, so far we have A, C, and E flat. Then we take the seventh degree, which is G sharp here on the second string, fourth fret, but I said double flat seven for diminished. So you got to flat it once to G and flat it again to G flat. So those are the four notes to the A diminished seven, A, C, E flat, and G. So let's check out what I'm playing here. I got A on the fourth string. I got E flat on the third string. I got the G double flat on the second string. And then I have the C on the first string. Now there's a couple of really unique things about this particular chord that you have to understand. It only really works with this diminished seven chord. Okay, first thing is, what I did earlier, A, slide up three frets, one, two, three, to the fifth fret, same chord again, A diminished seven, slide up three more frets, one, two, three, to the eighth fret, same chord, A diminished seven, slide up three more frets, to the eleventh fret, and you got A diminished seven. So that's really unique about this chord, and that's what I did earlier, I just was sliding it up. Second fret, fifth fret, eighth fret, eleventh fret, and you get the same chord. Now here's the second thing. This chord can be named any one of the notes that are in the chord. Now, to clarify that, this can be A diminished seven because this is an A note on the fourth string second fret. It can also be called E flat diminished seven, which is the E flat note here on the third string, third fret. Interesting. You can also call this G flat diminished because of the second string, second fret. You can also call this C diminished seven. So those are the two unique things. One, you can take this shape and slide it up every three frets and you get the same exact chord. Or two, you can really name this particular chord any one of the notes and it's still the same diminished chord because that's all about based on the intervals between the notes. All right? So just just go with me on that, just trust me on that. All right, so there's your, a cool chord, A diminished seven. It will show up, especially if you're into jazz, um, 
and classical, you'll, you'll see that chord. And then once in a while, it pops up on some other songs as well. All right, so uh, let me take you out this little play, and I'm gonna do that sliding this diminished chord up a little bit, and then uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>